What are the most powerful warships in the South African Navy? Which of these formidable vessels are the backbone of their fleet? And how do they stack up against some of the most advanced naval forces in the world? Well, today we'll answer all these questions as we explore the top 10 most powerful military warships in the South African Navy. In this list, we'll include only the best vessels, frigates, and submarines currently in service in the South African Navy. But before we embark on this exciting journey, make sure to like and subscribe if you're a fan of military rankings. And now, let's dive in. Number 10. Nelson Mandela Class The SAS Nelson Mandela is a hydrographic survey vessel currently under construction for the South African Navy as part of Project Hotel. This vessel is intended to replace the aging SAS Pratea, which has been in service for over 50 years. Built by Sandok Austral Shipyards in partnership with Vard Marine, the vessel is designed based on the VRD 9105 platform and will play a critical role in maritime surveying and mapping. The SAS Nelson Mandela measures approximately 95 meters in length and is powered by advanced engines, providing it with excellent endurance for extended missions at sea. Its primary mission involves hydrographic research, but it is also capable of supporting secondary roles such as search and rescue operations. The ship includes sophisticated onboard systems to map seabeds, ensuring safe navigation and supporting naval operations. Number 9. Protea Class The CSIS Protea is a hydrographic survey vessel currently in service with the South African Navy. This vessel, part of the Hecla class, was built in Glasgow, Scotland, and commissioned in 1972. It plays a critical role in maritime mapping and research. Measuring 79.25 meters in length and 14.94 meters in width, it has a displacement of 2,700 tons. Powered by four Paxman Ventura diesel engines, it reaches a top speed of 30.6 kilometers per hour and has an operational range of 22,000 224 kilometers at cruising speed. Designed for research rather than combat, the SAS Protea is unarmed, but equipped with a helipad and hangar, supporting small helicopters like the Wasp or Alouette. The crew includes 18 officers and 114 sailors. With its white hull, the ship is affectionately known as the White Lady and remains integral to South Africa's naval operations. Number 8. Drakensberg Class The Drakensberg Class combat support vessel, represented by the SAS Drakensberg A301, is the largest naval ship ever built in South Africa and a vital part of the South African Navy's fleet. Designed and constructed by Sandok Austral in Durban, the ship was commissioned in 1987. It is a multi-purpose vessel, primarily used for replenishment, maritime patrols, search and rescue missions, and disaster relief efforts. The Druckensberg measures 147 meters in length and is powered by four diesel engines, producing a combined output of over 18,000 horsepower, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 22 knots. The ship can carry a variety of cargo, including fuel, provisions, and munitions, and is equipped with defensive armament such as dual-purpose guns and anti-aircraft systems. It also features a helicopter deck for enhanced operational flexibility. Number 7. Namakura Class The Namakura Class patrol boats are small harbor patrol vessels designed and built in South Africa, primarily for the South African Navy. These lightweight boats have a displacement of 5.2 metric tons when fully loaded and are constructed with glass-reinforced plastic hulls, making them durable and easy to maintain. They measure 9.5 meters in length with a beam of 2.7 meters and a shallow draft of 0.8 meters, allowing them to operate in confined waters, such as harbors and rivers. Powered by two petrol engines, each producing 380 horsepower, these boats achieve a top speed of 56 kilometers per hour. They are equipped with a Furuno radar for navigation and typically armed with a 12.7 millimeter machine gun and two 7.62 millimeter light machine guns for defensive purposes. Number 6. T-Class The T-Craft class patrol boats, currently in service with the South African Navy, are designed for inshore operations. 
Built in South Africa by T-Craft International, these vessels entered service in the early 1990s. There are three units in the fleet, now known as SAS Toby, SAS Turn, and SS Tequani. These boats are made of glass-reinforced plastic, which provides a lightweight yet durable structure. Each vessel is 22 meters long, 7 meters wide, and has a draft of just 0.9 meters. They displace 37 tons fully loaded and are powered by two ADE 444TL12 V diesel engines, delivering a combined 2,000 horsepower. This setup drives Hamilton water jets, allowing a top speed of 59 kilometers per hour and a range of 980 kilometers at a cruising speed of 41 kilometers per hour. Number five, river class. The river class vessels, initially designed by the German company Abeking and Rasmussen, serve as mine hunters and inshore patrol boats for the South African Navy. Two units, the SAS Umkamaz and SAS Umsimkulu, were acquired in 1981. These vessels have a displacement of 390 metric tons and were constructed in Germany and South Africa. They were initially equipped with advanced unmanned underwater vehicles, which made them capable mine hunters for their time. These ships measure approximately 47 meters in length and are powered by diesel engines, providing a balance of speed and endurance suitable for inshore operations. Their armament includes light weaponry for self-defense, and they are primarily used for coastal surveillance and mine countermeasures, reflecting their dual role as patrol boats and mine hunters. Number four, Warrior Class. The Warrior Class vessels, formerly known as the Minister Class Strike Craft, were a group of fast attack craft built by Israel shipyards for the South African Navy in the late 1970s and early 1980s. These vessels were initially designed for missile strikes and equipped with the Scorpion missile system and 76 mm naval guns. However, in later years, some of them were modified to serve as offshore patrol vessels focusing on maritime security and anti-piracy operations. The Warrior-class vessels are approximately 58 meters in length and displace about 450 metric tons when fully loaded. They were powered by gas turbine engines for high-speed operations and could reach speeds of over 30 knots. Their armament was reduced in their OPV role, removing missiles and some guns to accommodate additional space for boarding teams and a rigid hull inflatable boat. The Warrior class has gradually been phased out, with their remaining ships being decommissioned or placed in reserve. Number 3. Warrior Class Strike Craft The Warrior Class Strike Craft, originally the Minister class, are fast attack vessels that played a pivotal role in the South African Navy from the late 1970s. Built by Israel shipyards under the Reshef class design, these ships were optimized for missile-based naval warfare. They were heavily armed with Scorpion surface-to-surface -surface missiles, a 76mm dual-purpose gun, and secondary armament such as 20mm cannons, making them formidable for coastal defense and offensive operations. Measuring about 58 meters in length and displacing 450 metric tons, these vessels were powered by gas turbines and diesel engines, enabling speeds exceeding 30 knots. Their compact design and high maneuverability allowed for swift engagement in littoral zones. The strike craft also featured advanced radar and electronic warfare systems for enhanced operational capabilities. Over time, some warrior-class vessels were converted into offshore patrol vessels, focusing on anti-piracy and maritime security missions. Number two, Valor class. The Valor class frigates are advanced, multi-role warships serving in the South African Navy. Built under Project Citron, these vessels were delivered between 2006 and 2007 and are based on the German Miko A200 design. Each ship commemorates acts of bravery, with names inspired by South African military history. The class includes four frigates, SAS Amatola, SAS Isanawana, SAS Spiwenkop, and SAS Mendy. These stealthy frigates displace about 3,500 metric tons at full load and are 121 meters long with a beam of 16.3 meters. Their propulsion system, known as Kodagwarp, combines diesel engines, gas turbines, and a water jet, 
enabling a top speed of 50 km per hour in a range of 7,400 km. Armament includes a 127mm naval gun, 16 Umkanto surface-to-air missiles, 8 Exocet anti-ship missiles, and 2 M31 RAM close-in weapon systems. Number 1. Heroin Class The Heroin Class submarines operated by the South African Navy are diesel-electric attack submarines derived from the German Type 2 09-1400 design. These vessels were introduced to replace the older French-built Daphne-class submarines. Three units, SAS Montatisi, SAS Charlotte Maxiki, and SAS Queen Majaji, were commissioned in the early 2000s. Each submarine is powered by four MTU diesel engines and a Siemens electric motor, generating 3.7 megawatts, allowing a submerged speed of 40 kilometers per hour. With a range of up to 20,000 kilometers surfaced, they can conduct extended operations. They are armed with eight torpedo tubes capable of deploying 14 torpedoes, including Atlas Electronic SUT-264 models. The submarines feature advanced sonar and radar systems, including the CSU-90 sonar suite and a surface search radar. Their stealth capabilities are enhanced by a hull-penetrating periscope and an optronic mass. As we conclude our exploration of the 10 strongest warships in South Africa, we hope you've been impressed by the power of these incredible machines. Do you agree with this list? Let us know in the comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see much more rankings like this.